Hey there, I'm AJ. Today, I'm going to go over how to get started with the Evercast admin portal. What features you see in the admin portal will actually be determined by the role that is defined for you. Let's say you're a permissions manager. I'll show you how to toggle features on and off for your entire organization. Now, if you're a credit manager, I'll show you how to assign, reassign, and revoke credits as needed. Just a heads up, it is possible to be defined as both roles, so all of this information may be pertinent to you. First, let's actually show you how to access the admin portal. After you're signed in, you'll see the dashboard. To get to the admin portal, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top right corner of your screen and find the icon that has the first letter of your name. Go ahead and click that and then select admin portal from the list. Just a heads up, if you're not assigned one of these roles, then you won't see the admin portal option here. When you open the admin portal, depending upon your roles and permissions, you're either going to see feature controls or the room credits, or you'll see both. If you're a permissions manager, the feature control screen is your place to toggle on and off the features you want your organization to use. First, you'll configure the features you want to apply to all rooms within your organization by default. Then, based on those defaults, you can select whether to make a feature available only to specific rooms. Let's get started on setting up your default features. Go ahead and click the defaults button. Here, you'll see a list of features you can make available to your rooms. So let's say that you want to allow recording, but you don't want your organization to have any open rooms. To turn on the recording feature, toggle it so that it shows a black dot. To turn off the open room feature, toggle it so that it shows a gray dot. Now let's say you want to choose which features are available or not for specific rooms. For example, to make recordings available for some rooms but not others, simply select the room specific box. Just a heads up, if you uncheck the box for a feature, then all rooms in your organization will adopt that setting. Let's say that you don't want to allow recordings for a certain room. Choose the room on the left hand side, then toggle the recording feature so it shows the gray dot. If you're a credit manager, in this next part, I'm going to show you how to manage room credits. Instead of assigning a credit for a full billing period, you actually have a bank of credits you can use to assign and reassign to rooms. This is really nice if you have one project that's ending and another beginning. The room credit screen is your place to assign, reassign, and revoke room credits as needed. Here's the total number of credits in your base plan. And here's the total number of credits that haven't been assigned to a room owner just yet. Here you'll see a list of your existing credits. You can search the list or you can filter it by project name, room owner, the date the credit was issued, and also the room name. You can also export your room credits list. Notice all the information about the room, such as who it's assigned to, when it was last used, and who the invited participants are. Here you'll notice that not every credit has a room assigned to it. These are credits that are available to be reassigned to someone else. Notice how there's no room information available here. Now we're going to assign a credit to a room owner. Go ahead and click the Assign Credit button, enter the email address of the room owner, and you'll see the credit assignment in the list. If all the credits in your plan are currently assigned, you can still assign a new credit by purchasing it. What you're going to do is, you're going to enter the email address of the room owner, and you're going to click the button to be billed for the credit. The new credit will show in your list. Just a heads up, if the room owner already has an Evercast account, then they'll get an email with the information about the credit assignment. But if the room owner doesn't already have an Evercast account, then they'll get an email to create one first. Now, if you want to reassign a credit to someone else, find the credit in the list. Go ahead and click Reassign, and then enter the email address of the new room owner. One good thing to know is that any recordings or chats and notes in a room will stay in the room once the credit is reassigned. Let's say you want to revoke a credit that's already been assigned. Just a word of warning here, this will actually delete the room and any information tied to the room, such as recordings and chats. This can't be undone. If you simply want to assign the credit to another room owner, then we recommend you reassign the credit instead. This will keep the room intact. But if you really want to revoke a credit, go ahead and click revoke, and the credit now shows as an unassigned credit and the room is deleted. Finally, let's say you have some credits that you don't need. Here's how you can return them and get a refund. 
just a heads up, this only applies to any unassigned credits. You won't be able to return any credits that are beyond your organization's base plan. So for example, if you have two unassigned credits, you can only return two. Above the list, click Return Assigned Credits, enter how many credits you want to return, and then you'll see the credit totals update above your list. And that's it! For more information or if you need anything else, we're here for you 24-7. You can also check out our guides in the Evercast Help Center at support.evercast.us. Happy streaming!